ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله حديث قدس reflects the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how merciful Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and how valuable it is when you are sincere and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال يحكي قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يحكي رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن ربه تبارك وتعالى يقول أذنب عبد ذنبا فقال اللهم اغفر لي ذنبي أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is talking about Allah سبحانه وتعالى and that Allah سبحانه وتعالى said my servant made a sin he disobeyed. Then my servant said, Ya Allah, forgive my sin. ثُمَّ يقول فَقَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى عَلِمَ عَبْدِي أَنَّ لَهُ رَبَّا يَغْفِرُ الذَّنْبِ وَيَأْخُذُ بِالذَّنْبِ My servant knew that he has a Lord, he has a Rabb who can forgive and who can punish. Thumma'ad, the sinful person, did the same sin again. Then he said, Allahumma ghfir li dhambi. Then he said, forgive me, O Allah, one more time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, one more time. عالم عبدي أن له رب يأخذ بالذنب ويغفر الذنب. My servant knew that he has a Lord who can punish and who can forgive. ثم عاد the third time the servant did the same sin again. Then Allah سبحانه وتعالى repeated the same thing. My servant knew that he has a Lord who can forgive and who can punish. فَلْيَفْعَلْ عَبْدِي مَا شَاءَ Let my servant do whatever he wants to do. I forgive him. Reflecting on this hadith, ignorant people take it a free check for sinning. For sinning. Smart people, knowledgeable people, look at it at the great mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to never despair from forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to never give up and listen to the shaitan who may tell you oh you did it before he's not going to accept it now you take it and you understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you worship him day and night you don't benefit him and if you disobey him day and night you cannot harm him so to him, it's so easy to forgive and so easy to punish if he wants to punish subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the shaitan always looks for making you despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tell you, oh, you're not really praying with sincerity. Why do you have to pray? You need to be sincere. He wants you to quit the prayer. You don't listen to the shaitan. The moral of the hadith that you need to leave home with is when you sin, immediately say Astaghfirullah and say it from your heart and mean that you don't want to do it again and you will not do it again and you will stay away from it and you will regret it and you will do good to make up for it. If you fall for the same sin again, you're okay, you do the same thing. As long as you're sincere and as long as you're planning not to do it again, the hadith tells you you can, if the sin is repeated 10 times or more, expect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. What does that teach you? It teaches you connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
as soon as you sin, you go back to the one who can forgive the sin or punish for the sin. And that is a strong relationship. It builds a strong relationship with you, between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you always know that he's merciful. And at the same time, it makes you fear his punishment and have hope for his mercy. And that is the balance that every Muslim should have. Fear the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and always have hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We call that husn of dhan billah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always think good of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Zakum Allahu khayran subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.